What's up, YouTube? This is your boy TZX. This is my first tutorial ever. Hopefully, I'll be doing some more helping you guys out. Yeah, you gotta excuse my voice if you can't understand. I'm from the Bahamas. But anyway, this tutorial that they'll be teaching you how to get the best quality with your Dazzle DPC 100. I posted this video lately, and a lot of kids have been asking for my quality and telling me to make a tutorial. So, I said I'll help all my subscribers, and I did. So, first things first, you want to open up Panica Studio. And go to Capture. And you go to Capture. If this thing isn't open, all you got to do is check this right here and open it up. And just leave everything to normal. And then just carry sharpness all the way to the bottom. Leave everything else in the middle. Then you want to go to Settings. I'm going to go to Capture Source. <coughs> and then Video. I'm going to change to Dazzle DVC 100. Audio. Dazzle DVC 100. No auto scene detection. TV standard. NTSC for the United States. PAL for the UK. Aspect ratio 16 by 9. And if this is checked, you want to uncheck it because it lies the video. And then you want to go to Capture Format. Then you want to go to MPEG and a half. And then you want to go to Custom. And then MPEG Type 2 Resolution 720 by 480. And you want to change your data rate to 8700. I think that gives you the best and it makes it clearer because it's like mine, you know. Then audio settings, MPEG layer 2, sample rate 32, project preferences you want to go to next. And then if this is checked, well, then you want to go here, and then you want to click this arrow and go all the way to the bottom. And then you go here. I think this is better because it makes your video more HD, and you know that green line that's normally like right around this area, it removes that, and I think it makes the quality a whole lot clearer. Then you want to go to video and audio. Then you want to just check everything how I have it checked, and then your channels will be 16-bit mono, sample rate 32 to match the capture format. Okay. And then you, there you have it. And then you want to, do not render in Pinnacle. Then you want to open up Sony Vegas and import a clip. You can import a clip just by clicking that right there. I import a clip already just to save some time. And drag your clip onto the timeline. Yeah, that quality is sexy. Yeah, look at the names, it's beautiful. Anyway. First, you want to go to pan and slash crop, that right there. You want to crop out the black lines. I already have a preset though, so I'm going to just use my preset. And then you want to go to source. Make sure it's, when you click it, it should say minus. And then just go to maintain aspect ratio, no. And then, voila. Voila, it makes it full screen. And then after that, you just want to go to properties make sure this is checked smart resample and then check this reduce interlace flicker it reduces the interlace lines on your video then feel auto upper feel first pixel aspect ratio that and then just click ok and there you have it and if you if this box isn't looking like mine, this is what you can do to fix it. Go here, project properties, video. Just use the template they have, HD, this one right here. And then you want to change this frame rate to this. Make sure everything's like that. Change this to best. I just saw it's me to, to better match project or render settings. Start all new projects with these settings. Apply. Okay, and then if it still doesn't look like mine, just go to best. And then make it full. And then it should get like mine. 
and I use three video effects. The first one I use is sharpen. Right here, I already have a preset. All you gotta do is drag reset to none in your clip, and then put in this amount, 0 0.644. Then I use saturation adjust. I already have a preset. You guys just drag reset to none in it and copy these settings. Amount, 6, 0 0.6940. Center, 0 0.0000. Spread 0 0.8900 and then low 1.0000. High negative 0 0.1120. And yeah, then you want to go put the last one in glow. I think this just tops it off and makes the video perfect, like clear. The glow percent is 0 0.040. Intensity. 0 0.150 suppression 0 0.250 and there you have it it should look beautiful like that yeah then after you edit the clip how you wish just go to file render as and these are my render settings save as type windows media video template you can just use this one here but I already have a preset, so I'm going to just use that and show you it. Copy all settings like how I have it. Check, include audio, mode, CBR, format, Windows, media, audio, 9.0. And then you want to change it to this right here. I heard from my boy that 44KZ makes it better when you put it on YouTube. Yeah. And you want to go to video. Yeah, it's moving a little slow because I'm recording. <sighs> Come on. Alright. Mode. CBR. Format. Windows Media Video 9. Image size. Just use the default. High definition. 1 to it. 1280 by 720 pixel aspect ratio 1.00 square and frame rate it will normally be on this and just change it to this one I think this one just makes it clear and perfect and then you want to change this to 5 check this change it to 8 and then just drag your video smoothness to the highest and then you check this one for your bit rate and it might be on 4 and you just want to change it to 10 I think it makes it clear also the render better and then you want to go to project video rendering quality change it to best and then type whatever you want in the template thing you right there save it and then just click OK in your file name type whatever you want to name the video blah 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 Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. And then just save, and that's my settings. Have fun. I hope it fixes your quality, but I'm out. Peace out.